So Yinka told me to prepare for war on my autobiography. Akande, welcome to the news. And please subscribe to our channel. Nobel laureate Prof. Wale Shoyinka foretold the controversies being generated by my participation, the autobiography of ex-Ocean State Governor, Chief B.C. Akande. Akande, in his preface to the book, narrated how he met Shoyinka in Gledon, California, and he told him with that book, B.C., be ready for war. Well, sincerely, we do not know who the truth is coming from this time around because there is a lot of countering and, you know, it is not just one person. If, they said, if everyone is telling you you are wrong, does it mean that everyone is wrong? Like everyone comes to you and telling you this thing did not happen. Like I'm, I'm beginning to question myself. But did, does it mean that those people are wrong? I'm not saying, I'm not insinuating. You, it can be that you're also right. But for everyone to start pointing fingers at you as someone who is doing the wrong thing, I think there is something wrong somewhere that you are not doing well. Definitely. Those people that are telling you that not one person, not two persons. So tomorrow now we'll hear that somebody else came and you say you mentioned my name and you said this and it is not true. Sincerely, it is not supposed to be. I do not know. Of course, we are just merely but listeners and players and this thing called um, life. So we do not know what happens in this other person's, you know, life. And he coming out to say a story and there's lots of going forth and back. I am not, I did not do this. You did this. It is better you don't say, you know, it should be avoided. Let's listen to the news in detail. So in car and as far as the book said, there are books whose very handling must be done with heavily insulated glue since virtually every page is scissors with contradiction between attestable reality and impudent claims. Attempts to cover past crimes and dodge responsibilities. Not so. This contribution from the wise one of Ila Orogun. If there is any sizzling, it is simply the fire of truth's passion that leaps at the reader from between the covers. Akande's fire purifies a flame of illumination carried over from real life to brighten the pages of saga of service to Nigerian humanity. Aside so Yinka, Ambassador Dakbo, Fafawora, Fafawora, also observed that the revelation in the scripts might provoke litigations. He quickly constituted a committee of our children, Oluwa Fermi Akande, Oyewali Akande, and Ayobami Dele Akande, ESQ, who are my lawyers to have a second look of my, at my presentation of facts, Akande wrote in the preface. Among many revelations, Akande claimed that a non Nigerian Afeniferi leader, Chief Ayo Adeba and Just Lucky Home, was built by was built for him by a Siwaji Bola Metinambu. He also said President Muhammad Buhari reneged on his promise to make Tinambu his running mate in 2015. He also had harsh words for former President Olusha Gobasanjo and ex-Deputy Governor Iyola Omishore. He added that NPDP members snatched the leadership of the National Assembly in 2015. The author also revealed how former Vice President Atiku Abubakar was nearly stopped from joining the then-fledged fledging APC by his former colleagues and the People's Democratic Party, PDP, who had decided to team up with a new party in 2012 ahead of the 2015 elections. When the party, APC, was ready and we were going around to all the leaders, someone reminded us that we had not seen a passenger and Baba Gita and asked them to join us. We also decided to extend the same courtesy to Atiku Abubakar being a former vice president. But we were a bit reluctant about Atiku because he was being avoided by the new PDP. In the end, we decided to meet him. The team met him in Abuja. He did not make any demand on us. He participated actively in, the all, in all the congresses and tried to help the APC grow in his area. We wooed all the leaders of a new PDP and visited all of them. They told us they needed to hold a meeting and take a decision. Nyako of Adamawa told us at the stage that he would leave them behind and join us on his own. Some of them felt they were being stampeded. One morning, Tinubu and I were in Abuja and we learned that the leaders of a new PDP were meeting at the Kano house at Sokoro, which was not far from where we were staying. We decided to join them, but phoned Buhari to join us too. Obon Naya Onu joined us too. 
When we got there, it became a joint meeting between the APC and the new PDP. It was a day of a National Executive Committee meeting, and all people were waiting for me at the APC National Headquarters. When we got to Kano House, the new PDP leaders had prepared a document listing conditions under which they would accept to join us. They gave us a copy. Tinubu read it and said all this were necessary. He reduced the two-page paper to one page of about three sentences. After some discussions, it was agreeable to both sides. We reduced the agreement to a communic and both sides signed it. Though he also attended the meeting, Governor Babangida Ali of Niger State escaped and was not there when we were addressing the press. That was how the new PDP joined the APC, he wrote. A lot of things are coming out from this book. I wonder and I cannot wait to hear the next bath booze. You know, this one will come out and they will talk. I mean, Mr. Uh, um, Chief Akande has already said everything he wants to say. And now there are people who are countering what he's saying. Sincerely, I do not know. I'm not saying anything. He might be correct. They might be correct. But in all of this, all I'm saying is for him to come out and make such statements, I don't want to believe that, you know, he wants to put his integrity on the line. I believe some of them are true, and of course, which also might not be true. Because I don't want to believe that an elderly person as a Adebanjo will come out and, you know, will start saying things that did not happen. A lot of things that were said. In fact, this thing is, is just like washing their linen outside. Washing their linen outside. I mean, these people are elders. Sincerely, there are some things that Mr. Uh, I mean, Chief BC would have said. In this book that would not have provoked everyone. But for him to do this, I believe he has also has a reason for this. This is not merely the book. Nobody should tell me this is merely the book. He is trying to achieve something with it. Yes, he is trying to achieve. Whatever he stands to uh, he's trying to achieve, I just hope it does not he does not um he does not bring about the war <laughs> the war, you know, amongst people. I mean, he's digging a lot of a lot of things out. A lot of people who do not want to hear the side. I mean, who do not want to hear this. Uh, um, I mean, what he said. Sincerely, he's digging out a lot of things that you know. Some people want them buried, or rather, he's trying to cover up things that wants to. I mean, that wants to come up. Any of the two. Any of the two. Whatever his decision is, if it is to woo Nigerians to give their support for. The, the the next administration, you know, Tinubu is trying to run for presidency. That is his own cup of tea. Nigerians, I do not think that this point can be.